Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm teacher Roslina and in today's video, we are looking at the structure of a discursive essay. Let's get started. Let's first of all look at the types of essays that you might get from wet writing task 2. For writing task 2, you would either get a discursive essay, an argumentative essay, or a problem solution essay. And in today's video, we are only going to be focusing on the discursive essay. Let's go through the description of a discursive essay. When you write a discursive essay, your main idea of writing is to explore the topic of discussion. And because of this, you are going to be presenting both sides of the arguments. So you are going to have content points where you support and also oppose to the topic as well. It will include discussions of the topic where you are going to be presenting your own ideas and opinions. And your purpose of writing is not to convince the reader to agree with your views. So, the way you write your essay will be you presenting your ideas for the purpose of discussion only. You are not writing to influence. Let's now look at a sample question for a discursive essay. By the way, this is the same question as could be found in my previous video. I had to break the previous video into two parts because otherwise it was going to be more than 20 minutes long. Let's read the question. Task 2. You are advised to spend about 50 minutes on this task. You attended a talk by a fresh graduate talking about his career choice. The following comment was made by the guest speaker. A person's choice of career should be based on his or her interests. Write an essay expressing your opinion on the statement. Write at least 250 words, 60 marks. Let's now take a closer look at this question. So in the instruction, you are advised to use only 15 minutes for this task. Spend 5 minutes of this time for you to prepare before writing your essay. And this is the situation given. At a talk that you went to, a fresh graduate made a speech. And in this speech, the fresh graduate made a comment. And this is the comment made. A person's choice of career should be based on his or her interest. This is the topic of discussion of your essay in task 2. And looking at this topic, you immediately think yes and no. You feel that yes, you agree that the person should have a career based on their interest. But at the same time, from experience maybe and from what you read in the papers, you know that this may sound too idealistic. We shall look at how to write this essay and present your arguments in a more structured way in a while. And this is your task for you to fulfill in task 2. You would need to express your opinion based on the statement given. The length of your essay should be more than 250 words. And the total marks that you can get for this essay is 60 marks. Let's now look at the content points for this topic. These are content points to support and oppose the statement given. These are two content points to support the topic. The first content says that you do agree to the idea that a person's career choice should be based on the person's interest. And the first thing you can say is that this will relate to the person's job performance. People who have jobs that they like and are interested in will devote their time and effort on the job. The next reason you can say to support the statement is that choosing a career that you are interested in would provide you with job satisfaction. This will in turn contribute to your happiness and overall quality of life. On the contrast, you will also oppose to the topic by giving these reasons. 
First, you can say that you are aware of the current climate of unemployment in our country. Unemployment rate is very high, especially so at the moment with the pandemic going on. And we should not be too choosy in selecting only careers that we are interested in. This is because there is a need for you to have a job for survival. Another reason you can give to oppose to the statement is if there is a job opportunity that pays well, then certainly the person should consider taking the job. From these content points, select the best three that you want to discuss in your essay. And these are your choices. Let's now look at the structure of a discursive essay. You will need to have five paragraphs for your essay. Your first paragraph would be the introduction to your essay. Paragraph 2 of your essay will be your first content point or topic sentence 1. You are going to give your first reason to support the view. Next, in paragraph 3, will be the second reason to support the view and this is topic sentence 2. In the fourth paragraph, you will present a contrasting view and provide a reason to oppose to the topic in topic sentence 3. And paragraph 5 would be your conclusion to your essay. If this video is helping you in some way, then please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Let's now look at each paragraph a little bit closely. So paragraph 1 will be your introduction. Your introduction will start with a hook. A hook is something that is going to attract or pull in the reader to read your essay. So you're going to write something interesting as a hook. After the hook, you're going to give some background information about the topic being discussed. You will need to have a thesis statement after that to let the reader know about what to expect in your essay. And lastly, is for you to state your stand. That is, you agree to the statement made, but to a certain extent. Next is of course the body paragraph. I'm sorry that this slide looks a little bit too wordy, but I think that it is important to have all three content paragraphs together so that it is clear to see how the paragraphs are organized. So just bear with me. So for the first content point, you are going to start your paragraph with a linker or sentence connectors. Examples of linkers and sentence connectors you can use to start your paragraph are such as to begin with, firstly, etc. After the linker, in the very first sentence of your paragraph, you are going to write a reason that supports the view. Next, you are going to explain this view with evidence. Provide an example to clarify this idea and then end your paragraph with a closing by reinstating topic sentence 1. For the next content points, again, you would need to start with a sentence connector that signals the continuation of an idea. You can use furthermore, moreover, in addition, etc. Right after this, and in the very first sentence of the paragraph, you would need to provide another reason for why you support the view. After this, you need to explain your view with evidence. Add an example from your observation of what is currently happening, perhaps. Going on to the third content point is where you are going to switch your view. Here, you are going to provide a reason that opposes the topic given. To show this, it is very important for you to use a sentence connector that signals the contrast of what you have said before. These are such as nevertheless, however, etc. After this, in the very first sentence of your paragraph, you would need to give a reason for why you oppose this view. And after this, you need to explain why you said that with evidence. Provide an example of what you can see or what you have read in the newspapers as an example. And moving on to the last paragraph, which is the conclusion, you can write something like this. 
Start your paragraph with a sentence connector to signal the conclusion. Use in conclusion or to conclude etc. to do this. And after this, in the same sentence, state the topic of discussion again to remind the reader of the topic being discussed. Summarize your three content points in your own words. You would need to rephrase your sentences. After this, provide a recap of your opinion about the topic. Remind the reader again of your stand. Provide a balanced view of this topic. And lastly, provide your ending with a sentence that signals the closing of the paragraph. It should sound like you are ending your essay. This video ends here and remember to check out this next video. I will see you soon. Goodbye and take care.